Hi there. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. How <laughs> did I get here? Oh, you were walking down Main Street a couple of minutes ago, right? Yeah. Then you took that left down Maple Street. I remember. And then you got to King Street and you were like, oh, should I jaywalk across this super busy street or walk over to the crosswalk? You know, the designated spot <laughs> for crossing streets. Okay. You know. Then I think you can see where this is going. <laughs> murdered. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, a real good Wait. murder. This guy came up from behind, got you real good. Oh. Oh, I thought he no. got hit by a Did car. a big murder on you, a big one. Jeez. A big Dang one. Dang it. Yeah, so, you know, my condolences uh, to you. So I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, wait, what is this place? Oh, okay. right, this is the Unfinished Business Bureau. Just want to make sure you don't have okay. any unfinished business on that mortal plane before we send you over to the afterlife. <laughs> What's behind that door? It's just, you what? know, whatever leads to the least toxic common section. And so what do you mean by unfinished <laughs> business? Is this like a tax thing? This feels like a tax thing. This is more of a send you back as a ghost situation. Oh. Yeah, people go back for revenge stuff a lot of the time. Well, listen, if I'm being honest, okay. I wouldn't mind going back and getting revenge on the guy that did a murder on me. Yeah, that makes sense. Did That's a, a common murder. one. Who does that, you know? Oh, this guy does a lot. So, like, what's the plan? <laughs> like, what kind of things can I do to get this guy back? Oh, we got a couple of options of ghost things we can have you do. I think you'll be okay. pretty satisfied. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Have you heard of doorways? Like a passage through a door, yeah. Okay, so great. So check this out. We wait till this guy has his back turned to one, right? Okay. Yeah. Then we have you rush past the doorway. Just zip on by. Okay. So... <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So he doesn't even see so. me. Not in this particular strategy, no, he doesn't. So how does that affect him? Uh, I guess it doesn't now that you mention it, but a lot of ghosts do that one. Okay, so no, what, like, what, what's a more intense option that you got for yeah. me? Uh, sure. Yeah, okay, check this one out. Have you heard of floors? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Have so you we heard send of you floors? into this guy's house, right? And he's going about his business, doing whatever it is he does, and we have you make the floors creak. Right. So he's going to be like, what? What was, was, was that footsteps or something? <laughs> and then what? And then he's not gonna know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be all like, what was that? Okay, he <laughs> murdered me. Yeah. So I'd like to do more than make him question his hearing abilities. I'm not explaining it well, I don't think. He wouldn't know why the floors creak. I get it, it's just not good. All right, no he problem, man. Know. You're being a little picky, though, I gotta say. What else you got? What else can I do? All right, we got this other possible thing you could do. Ones? Have you heard of mirrors? If it's a standard thing in a house, I've heard of it. Okay. <laughs> he's brushing his teeth, right? And then he goes down and he spits in the sink or whatever. Uh-huh. Then when he comes back up, you're in the mirror behind him. Okay, so he'll see me in this one. Yeah, so, you know, That'll freak him out for sure. And then what do I do? Oh, well, he'll turn around and you'll be gone. You'll be out of there. So, got him. We got him. These don't got feel like him. proportionate responses. The guy homicided my entire person. <laughs> yeah, so now you make him have like an unsettling toothbrushing experience. <laughs> That's not good enough. I don't feel good about these options. Yeah, no. All right, man, you're being very difficult, though. I'm just gonna run through some of these. There's gotta be something you like. All right. Oh, you can make a cold spot in his house. So he killed me and I, what, make him need a light sweater? Yeah, maybe a cardigan. <laughs> That's an open maybe window. Maybe a cardigan. You wanna knock a small object off his table? That's scary. That's something an average house cat can do. <laughs> we can have you slam a door shut. Oh, we're back to the abilities of an open window. <laughs> okay, look, final strategy, all right? This mm -hmm. is the big one. Final. Good. Good, let's hear it. This one's like premium though. This is a big deal. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> so in this one, we send you back down there. Uh-huh. And you have full control. Full control. Full control of a creepy looking little doll. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? You can kind of turn its head like this. <laughs> don't have a ton of mobility. I'm just gonna go through the door, I think. Fine, you know what? You clearly don't appreciate my work, oh so my go God. ahead. Look, I'm sorry, it's just... Uh, you know what? I get it. I'm giving you gold. You think it's crap? So go gold. ahead. Go through the reincarnation door. See if I care. <laughs> oh, crap. The comment section. <laughs> Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk about Raycon. So hey, oh, when I listen no. to my alpha male podcast, sometimes I can't help but alpha furiously oh, nod God. in agreement. If you want to be an alpha male, you gotta wake up at 4 a.m. and eat a full uncooked steak. So it's a really good thing I have Raycon earbuds. See, Raycons have optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. What? They're super comfortable and they will not budge. No matter how furiously you're nodding in agreement to a podcast, a gorilla would mess you up in a fight, man. That's one of the main reasons you gotta learn jujitsu. Raycon <laughs> stay inside my ear. One of the main reasons. Everyday earbuds Let's look, go. feel, and sound better. How had I not seen this one? Like, how, how did this get past me? I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, Kratos, thank you so much for the suggestion, obviously, but.
I'm still trying to figure out like how is this not in one of the other compilations. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of uh, it's a mystery to me. It's funny though because all of his suggestions were just like things you would see in movies, you know, and maybe things that people have experienced, but uh, nothing that would actually like get back at this guy that did a homicide on his person, <laughs> on his person, uh, that guy that killed him. It's funny too because I thought like all these things he's leading up to, like oh you know, remember you decided to jaywalk across that busy street, you decided to go down this street. I thought it was gonna be him getting killed by you know a car. He got hit by a car and killed, but no, he got murdered. The way that he leads up to that was hilarious. That was funny. Also the fact that he. <laughs> He says that the door leads to like the least toxic comment sections. Like <laughs> he's like he's trying to be like, hey, let me just leave it open so that you know it's, it's up for interpretation. But then actually says what the door is, and that could lead to you know some toxicity in the comment section. You're like reincarnation? No, it leads to this. It leads to that. Oh, it's heaven. It's wherever. That was like pure comedy gold in that scenario. Like that's that's just a great way to like. Hold your attention for sure, because you kind of want to know what it is. Maybe you won't ever tell us, but even just the first part of the joke is great. But then actually doing it and telling us what it is and then like, oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> the comment section is going to go crazy. It's very meta, but very on brand for Ryan George as well. And obviously, I mean, most of the time his comment section is great. I mean, people are just asking him to do more of a first guy this or a pitch meeting for that. So it's a, uh, that was hilarious though. Very meta, very open to interpretation at the beginning, but then he actually says what it is. That was great. So Great choice here, Kratos. Thanks so much for the suggestion. Again, I'm surprised I never got to this one, but now we got to it. And of course, this is the perfect day. Halloween, why not? Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite part from this in the comments below. And check out the other videos I got for you guys if you want to watch more and laugh more with me. I always appreciate that we can spend time together. I think it's really awesome. So as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.